Hello, and welcome to The Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today, it's with great pride that I'm unboxing ELAC's brand new bookshelf speaker in their Vila range, the BS403. Now, this compact bookshelf speaker is a mighty, mighty little speaker. Uh, it's available in gloss finishes, it's German made, it's got their brand new Jet 5 tweeter. Yeah, it's excellent, it's lovely. Uh, now it should be available in a couple of other colours, but today we're unboxing it in gloss white. Okay, so, ELAC. Now, with any of their better speakers, the packaging is really, really robust. Um, big staples holding boxes together. Uh, big heavyweight cartons, great grab handles, all of these types of things, I guess as you would expect from any high-end speaker brand. Um, this particular one, I'll be honest, um, got a little bit of a scuff or a tab um, in transit, but it's, it's, we're going to be opening it exactly as it would appear in your home. I think, to be honest, the courier maybe has slipped on that with the handle. Okay, so... Uh, look, firstly, nice and heavy. There's a pair of really good speakers in here, and you can tell. As soon as you pick something up, you sort of understand, is it, is it a toy or is it something decent? This is definitely decent. Okay. Now, opening these is a, is a, is a two-phase sort of process. Again, we give it a tab. The first is, is to very carefully open the plastic seal. Now, run the craft knife across the top there, but with a very, very shallow knife to ensure that it doesn't touch anything beneath. The second, and there's no more elegant way of doing this, is literally just yank it. At, po at this point it breaks uh, the seal and gives us the opportunity to remove the staples. Um, it's my very, very best advice that whenever you can, whenever you're opening anything with these metal staples, get rid of them immediately. Because the next thing that will happen is you drag the speaker out and it will scratch on the speaker or uh, give you a cut on your hand or arm as you try and re uh, remove the speakers themselves. Okay, so opening them, it's worth noting that uh, before we open the flaps, we've actually got the brochure and information about um, ELAC. Uh, it's a generic brochure, it talks about speaker placement and it's in, bi it's in bilingual, uh, German and English. Then drilling in, we've got all the packaging. Now, because of that packaging, I'm going to carefully roll this over and get rid of the box um, off the speakers rather than trying to go to the effort of getting the, the speakers out of the box. So firstly, there we go. There's the other half of all the packaging and you can see that it's beautifully molded to support those speakers perfectly. Each speaker is packed identically, so um, we'll roll this over. Okay, and put this particular one off to one side for a moment. Hang around for the speakers, I'll take some close ups, you'll see them in their pairs and grills on and grills off. But again, because they're identical, we'll concentrate on this one. Okay. The next is to observe one of these sticker labels. It says, caution, delicate drivers, and that's obviously towards the front. Great idea that they've got that warning. It's worth mentioning that the speakers are sloped, so obviously the front is very, um, very obvious. Curved at the front, sloped at the top. The bag is heavy weight, and if I just tip it over for a moment onto its top, it's very straightforward to open this via the little plastic um, tag at the base. The bag is sealed with two pieces of sellotape, one in the middle and one off to one side. I just apply a little bit of pressure and a simple nip. The bag can easily be opened and removed. The next layer is one of these uh, sort of synthetic polishing cloths, is probably the best description. It means that uh, the high gloss finish is protected beautifully in transit and, um, if anything, to be honest, uh, improves the polish. Folding that away is very straightforward. There's a couple of pieces there onto what is the base. Now, before we unbox it further, I'm going to pause and, and again, please hang around for some close-up photographs. This base has a, has a rubberized uh, bottom. It's designed to sit vibration-free on the surface. And it's pre-tapped with four points um, for the purposes of screwing this directly into the matched ELAC stands. 
first thing to start with is the bag, and then that polishing cloth, which reveals the speaker underneath. Now, although I thought these were white, they're clearly walnut. Uh, obviously, the box says W for something, and it's this gloss walnut that we now have, and this is great to see. Um, the finish is, is, is superb, and again, hang around for some photographs. I'll try and take some close-ups where we'll see those. The top itself is of a hard material, although it has a, a, a hard rubbery feel to it. It's not a polished surface. I would suspect that they are managing the reflection from the tweeter, especially on this surface very well, ensuring that it's managing the reflection into the room. And looking at the speaker, the first you'll see is Elac's iconic jet tweeter. Now this is their Jet 5, so I would assume their fifth generation, but don't quote me. It gives an excellent detail and rhythm to the top end without any hint of brightness. And that's the key. Any really good speaker is going to have to have that balance uh, between uh, detail and brightness handled, and they've done an excellent job. It's worth mentioning that there is some ridging in this uh, recessed area, and it's clear that that's uh, to help uh, manage the disbursement of that high frequency into the room. Beneath it is an iconic uh, ELAC drive unit. Absent of a phase plug or anything in the centre, the drive, uh, the voice coil in behind, of course, is bonded to the drive unit directly, rather than the necessity of having some a voice coil, uh, sorry, a dust cap or a phase plug or something like that, adding mass to it. Obviously, the critical key and what makes it unique is this um, triangular pattern embedded or embossed in the driver itself. This has a very long excursion driver and a big rubber annulus for that reason, and again some ridging in the surround to ensure that it's managing its, um, its uh, disbursement into the room. Elac logo beneath that, and a simple scene between the, the gloss walnut and the black finish. Looking at the side, you'll see a couple of things. Now firstly it's this little step away. Now that, as I rotate it round, is how Elac manages the port. Instead of the back with a classic hole that you would expect, the port is actually in underneath. And this little step that you see there is a way of it managing that. And it's lovely to see such care and attention to a, a downward ported speaker, enabling this to perhaps sit closer to a wall or in a bookcase a little bit more responsibly. It's by wireable or by ampable as well, uh, and some good solid bridging clips. In fact, everything that I'm touching on this is 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 um, elegant and beautiful in its in its quality. The binding posts being a good example of that as well. Good fit, good finish, um, excellent feel. Uh, definitely, they've not scrimped on any element of it. Even the bridging clips themselves, which have insulation bars and in um, with an Elac logo, have been very well thought out. Again. Rotating it round to give you a look at the finish and other things. It's exquisite. It really is genuinely lovely. So, rocking it forward for the final time to have a look at that top. And there we have a little trim. Everything has been very well thought out in this model. So, this beautiful pair of uh, Vila bookshelf speakers, the BS403s, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.